Well, people say that now we are in the corona times. It's just a time and time can change. For ourselves, it's just a matter of how are we going to use that time? Are we going to do something about it and make great use of it? You see, we all have strengths and weaknesses. There are some good things about us or some things that we are good at and some things that we are not so good at. So now there is a threat. Oh, we cannot go outside. We cannot see the world. We cannot go to a restaurant. Where is my steak? What are we going to do? Can we go to the movies? Okay. Huh. What a wonderful time. We can be at home with our children. Usually we are busy. We get up in the morning. Kids wake up and we run to work. And then we come in the evening and we rush the kids. Okay, finish your homework. Let's eat something. Go to bed. Ugh, miserable life. Now there's an opportunity we are home. Whether we have a job. Okay, or whether we just work from home, which still gives us more opportunities to be with our children and not to forget about them nine hours per day. So what do we do? We invest the time working with our children, doing different things that we didn't have time to do before. And the question is, what can we do with our children? Ten years ago, I wrote an email to one hundred of my friends. And I just wrote to them one thing. How much time do you invest or play with your children? And I got an answer which was totally different than my question. Because my question was quantitative element had a quantitative element. How much time? And the answer I got, I don't have enough time with my kids. Save blame. And then they add but all the 100 of them. I don't have enough time with my kids, but I have quality time. So I was questioning them. What do you do when you have quality time with your kids? And the answers I got, oh, we watch television, we watch football, we eat a pizza, we go out. And I asked them, where is the quality? I mean, it's nice to be with a child, hug him, and, you know, and have some fun with him. But what is the really quality time means? Quality time means that you can coach your child. And why should you do it? You blame the education system, don't you? Most of you, in most cases, most people, saying, oh, the education system is not good enough, not good enough, not good enough. But what do you do about it? There's nothing you can do. You are busy, you go to work, you wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning, you go to work, you come back at 7 o'clock in the evening. There's never time to take care of fixing the problem. Education system, maybe, maybe it's not good enough. Maybe it's not good to create a highly gifted child from your own unique, beautiful child, boy or girl. But now there is an opportunity. You can now coach your children because you are staying with them. And there are different ways to do it. And one of the ways is, first of all, listening to them. What do they like? What do they love to do? What are the things that interest them? And through those interests, find them analogies or find them more elements that might be interested. Like Amazon, you know, when they say, the people who bought this book might write, buy beat this book. So you say, so if you like that in your own world, child, why don't you look at that, which is kind of similar in a different world? Making analogies is very important in order to open the child's mind to learn new things that it need know that they are out there.